Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one take property tours. Yes, they are, Mac. Yes, they are. Today's tour is a most incredible property. It has been in the same family for 300 years. <laughs> I know, I can't believe it. And I am so excited to show you this house today. It is full of treasures and architectural details. I will be giving you the price at the end and it's just, <laughs> I'm almost beside myself. It is absolutely amazing, amazing. Are you ready? Oh, you will need drinks and nibbles on this one for sure. Let's go. Now look at that. Grandeur, just, I mean, this building was built in the early 1800s and it's built of brick with a rendered surface, not in stone because I today uh, are I'm very near to Cusey and uh, in this area there wasn't stone so the majority of the houses were built in bricks. Right in front of me right now is the electric gates and that leads out into a very small country road. But we are going to start the tour today by giving you just this open, spectacular view of the lake and the Apennines above. Stunning, isn't it? Oh, we've got so much to do. Absolutely, we've got so much to do. Right, let's crack on. Now, the land itself is about two hectares in total, and there's approximately 270 odd olive trees. Now, they can be by separate negotiation, and as I mentioned, I will be giving you the price at the end, uh, an additional 40 hectares of land. So if you wanted to start your own vineyard, or if you wanted to become a farmer and live in this spectacular building in Italy, then this might be the house for you. There was a film shot here, and uh, it's, just, it's just got absolutely everything you want. Now I'm gonna start <coughs> in one of the garages, and when we get in, all you boys are gonna be going, oh, wow, <laughs> absolutely amazing. And we're gonna get in. Mackie, come here for a sec. I'm gonna, it's because you're following me around now. I'm gonna take your lead off for a second. Oh, there you go. Just leave it here. Now, <sighs> cantinas. What have I got? I've got a Fiat 126, very popular car, 650cc. I've got a Gucci, late 1950s Falcon, and it is in the most incredible condition. I mean, it really is. There's a bit of oil dripping out of it, but you know, at that stage, most bikes did drip a little, boil, a little bit of oil. And it has this, which I actually want myself. It's got nothing to do with the sale of the house. But this is an incredible little caravan nestling in the back and a Fiat 500 convertible. Now, they never made a convertible Fiat and this was done many moons ago and you can't do that anymore. Now, all these things are for sale. Everything that you see in this property today can be purchased, including the house. <laughs> oh, it's a man cave in heaven. Right, let's get on with the property. Oh, look at the bike though. Oh, it's just Italian style. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it really is. Right, when I first came in to this property, um, and I had seen a couple of pictures, and the, uh, the owner came in and turned on this light, and he's a lovely gentleman, and I'm gonna turn on this light as well. And it's a very old ceramic light, and we popped into this room, and he turned around and said, yes, and it's got the original mill. And I went, really? <laughs> and then, look. Oh, yes, Mac, what have you found? Oh, 
It's, it's phenomenal, isn't it? I mean, it just, you just absolutely lost for words. I don't think I've ever actually seen one, unless it's been in a museum, intact. Now, this bar where Mackie's digging around for something, that piece of wood, you would have had a donkey on one side and a donkey on the other. And over in that corner, there is a little trough that you would have had some food. And uh, when they stopped, they could have something to eat. And the donkeys used to have uh, 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 something over their eyes so that basically they wouldn't get disorientated while they were going round and round. Oh, look at me. I know, I, well, the world has changed now. Um, <laughs> and look at those pots. Oh. <laughs> We've only just begun. What does that say? 1886. Oh. And then look at the patina. And if I, if I just pull up here and I just show you this, right, there is a little lamp in that nook just there with a candle in it as well. Oh. Yeah, it's just. Now, if I come back here, I mean, you've got the press. Look at that piece of machinery. You just don't, they just don't make things like this anymore. Right. Oh, I'm just gonna lift up and show you that. I just think that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. All in its original condition, probably working absolutely fine. Still corkscrew. And that is your olive press. Oh, it's just stunning. Right. Oh, my God. Wow. I just see something. Oh, they are World War II Italian gas masks. <laughs> Come on, Mac. Let's go. Okay, now, I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pop out and go through the other door. There's another cantina which I want to show you on the ground floor. And I think it's important for us to have a look at those first of all. And then we are going to go up and have a look at the rest of the house. And my word, there are some treasures which are above. Right, so here is the front door, just to the right of me. And we're going to go up in the moment. Uh, I just want to go into the canteen at the bottom. There is a kitchen which we're going to go into, which is a summer kitchen. Mackie, um, we'll just walk down to the bottom to the end and we're going to go into this cantina, which has been blocked up but goes all the way around. And in here, there is a open top, another Fiat 500. What fun would that be? Now you've got all the original woodwork, which is above. And really, all you really need to do um, is to sandblast that and take that paint off. Um, personally, I don't like it. Um, and then you'll get back to the original terracotta and it will be absolutely fantastic. And also, I mean, this used to be a stable. But I've been told by the owner, you actually can't have animals living in your cantinas any longer. There's been a new wall. I've lost the dog. Mackie! Mackie! Oh, I'll give you the reverse coming back up so you can see the grandeur of this house. I'm just going to pause the video for a second because I've lost the pooch. Come on, let's go. Come on, Mac, let's go. Sorry about that, I just <laughs> lost my darling boy. Okay, so in we go. And I think it's going to be quite dark in here. I don't know what uh, we'll be able to get some lighting going through, but it's got all its patina and all its originality and there's lots of bits and pieces that haven't been mucked around with. And then we're going to go in here. Now, this I thought was quite fun. Um, because here you would have had part of the working area of the cantina. And this large piece of concrete 
is an old wine vat and they have turned it into a toilet. <laughs> I wonder if there's a light. Is there a light? Oh, that light's gone off. Mackie, come back here. Look, I mean, it's not the Ritz, but it's just a bit of functioning stuff. I'm going to pull around for a sec quickly. Yes, Mac. Right, going down past the uh, the loo. <laughs> I wouldn't say that was a cloakroom, uh, and we're going to come around. What's so interesting about this property is that basically. Um, the owner's mother um, lived until she was 94, but as of uh, the later years, she became um, more frail and basically, unfortunately, she needed an elevator to get upstairs. The lights are on the timer, so they have just gone off on me. Right, I think we're gonna go through the uh, front door of the house and then up and I'm going to show you the rooms upstairs. And as we go in, a couple of nice, nice brass knockers. Come on, Mac, let's go. Come on. And then we go into the hallway and it's a classic Italian house. It has a rolled ceiling and a beautiful stairs leading up with doors either side. Yeah, stunning, isn't it? What do you think, Mac? It's amazing, isn't it? Now, some parts have had central heating installed and other parts haven't. This needs, in my view, either a little or a lot done to it. Are you ready? <laughs> and this is your entrance coming in. Oh, what a room. Can you imagine coming back? Maybe after a day out shooting something for supper. Roaring fire. Yeah, it would be just absolutely incredible. Now I'm going to take you into what would have been the kitchen. And we're going to go into this room and there's antiques everywhere. I mean, you're, you're talking about 300 years of just stuff. Mackie? Oh, he's wandering around. What a fireplace. Just really is stunningly beautiful. I'm, you know, I'm almost lost for words. I mean, look. Really, we're just going to pop down. I'm going to show you the fire, and then you've got copper pots which would have been used, and then a wonderful terracotta stufa or heater which you would have put wood in the bottom. Beautiful pictures everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's just something of interest, and what a wonderful table this is. It must be 12 feet long. Yes, yeah, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, look at the original flooring. Let me just come down here and show you that. Now, this house is for somebody who really just wants an original building and just wants to, I mean, bring it back in a way. Look what I'm doing. Uh, with Victoria at the moment, you know, keep all the originality as much as possible and just do your very best. <laughs> I came in this room. I'm going to turn the light on. Don't get shocked. Phenomenal. I mean, this is the music room. I initially thought that uh, it was wallpaper, but it's not. It's painted. And look up 
And as we pull up the camera, you will see the reason why it's the music room. It's just incredible. It really is. Yeah, I did. I actually thought that that was wallpaper. And as I come across here, I mean, it's painted. I just can't believe it, actually. Now, this house will need new electrics, and that is one of the original switches. And you have to remember that when these houses were built, they were built without electrics, and basically the easiest way to obtain electrics was to have them surface mounted. Right. One kitchen done. We are now going to go up onto the second floor and I'm going to come down and I'm going to show you some rooms on the first floor as well. Mackie, come here. Mackie, come here. Again, moving on to the second floor and then you have this beautiful stone steps. I'm going to come down and show you this. Ah, uh, really? Now the owner is selling this property and it's been in his family for so many years because he needs to downsize. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Turns on one. Let me see the both of them. All right. <laughs> it's one or one. Oh, look. Now, what's in here? Oh, I've got a mixture of... Oh, it's bedrooms. Right, so I'm just going to pop into this one. Lovely light streaming in. Now, all the furniture can be for sale. I'm gonna pop into another bedroom. I don't know how many bedrooms are. I think they're like seven or eight bedrooms. Oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? It really is just amazing. I've noticed a couple of cracks here and there, but I'm not that worried about them. Actually, I, I don't see anything come from the outside. I've had a look around the building and, you know, I don't think there's anything which is really disastrous. It's like stepping back in time, isn't it? It's just incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Where are we going now? Oh, it's huge. Absolutely huge. I think I'm going to pull around. I can see a bedroom on the right hand side. 900 square meters. I mean, that's a lot of square meters. Oh, this is a very nice room. Open aspect, double windows. Yeah, I can see this being absolutely beautiful. What do you think, Mac? Stunning, isn't it? You know, I'm just gonna try to push the camera out. We're overlooking what would have been a stunning formal garden. It's incredible over the years, uh, generations of family have just kept things. You know, they haven't basically thrown them away or recycled or sold them. They've just all been accumulated within the property. 
Yeah, it's a labyrinth. Oh, I've just seen something. <laughs> right, I'm going to get into here. Is there a light? I sincerely hope so. Oh, my favourite. 1970s bathroom. Whoever buys this house, please keep this bathroom. Oh, look at the way that that's been done. Especially with the bath. And then the blue tiles as well. Oh, what fun is that? Oh, it's just... <laughs> it's great. What's in the other door? Oh, that, ooh. Yeah, well, that, 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 that's a later addition. I'm just going to get in here and show you this one as well. Oh, is there a light in here? Yes, there is. Oh, yeah, well, you can change that one. <laughs> okay, moving on. I'm going to come down the hallway now. And there's another section that we uh, haven't seen. I think that's actually to the left hand side. Oh, there's a huge corridor going down. Right, well, now we're going into another bedroom. So one, two, three, and two bathrooms. Now, looking up at the ceiling, the owner told me that basically when they, because they've painted this room not that long ago, it's got a really nice ceiling rose on it, but they found a little fresco and this hasn't got wood it has bow vaulted brick work and steel and if you wanted to you could chip off the plaster and then that would end up with the beautiful rich red bricks of Umbria and Tuscany yeah, Max having a Right old nose around, aren't you, darling? Okay, going back into the hallway. Um, I've been into the attic. The house is so big, we are not going up into the attic space. There is nothing which I think that would be of interest to you. And so I suggest that we don't bother going in there. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, isn't it brilliant? It's just fantastic. Now here on this side, you've got a kitchen. I'm just going to see if I can get a light on in there as well. It's so interesting. I can't begin to tell you these wonderful, noble houses and generations of family. It's, it's, you really do feel like you're stepping back in time. And it, it really is just a, an immense privilege for me to have an opportunity to do this. Oh. <laughs> Going to be turning on some of the lights. Oh, that's interesting. Now, this has double doors leading out to a balcony, and I'm going to try to get across and show you that you've got trees around. I probably would want to, heaven forbid you want to cut any tree down, but I probably want to just, just prune them a little bit and so that you've got more of an open aspect. But you've got a lovely through room into another room, which we're... Oh, I think that was basically the dining room. It looks like a dining room to me. Oh, the floors are just incredible. Now, you can, as I mentioned, purchase some or if not all the furniture here. Oh, look at that. I'm just going to pull down quickly, show you that. And that gets out of the way. Yes, darling. Now, that is a beautiful terracotta floor. It's been waxed. Um, 
and it hasn't been over treated. And if I pull this down and I can show you, you're going to get the flare coming out the side. Do you see that? Now that is a couple of hundred years of wax. Now, don't you take that up. I would leave that exactly the way it is. Just wonderful. This is the dining room. Oh, look at that piece of furniture. Oh, it's got a clock on the top as well. Oh, oh. amazing. Just amazing. Right, where are we going to go from here? We've come up onto the second floor. There's an entire floor that we haven't even done yet. What's here? Oh, I'm just going to go down into this. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the basically the, the room for the ironing and, oh, look at that. Oh, is that wallpaper? No, it's not. It's a stencil, it must be a stencil. It is a stencil. Oh, look up, oh, I wonder if we've got enough light to get up there. I'm gonna come up and see if we can get up to the top. Oh, now this building is not listed. So you actually have a free reign of exactly what you would like to do. If you like floor plans of this building, then please just send an email to info at abodeitaly.com. You probably know that by now. I gotta go to, oh, this might be the maids. Oh, this would have been the maids quarters. Yeah, are we gonna go in here? Yeah, of course we are. <laughs> of course we are. Oh, whoa. You see all those little nails on the top along the wood? I don't know whether you can see them. I try to get up a little bit further. But that's where, and you would have found them in the cantina as well, you would have hung things on so that they would have dried. Again, beautiful original painting on the, on the walls. I mean, all that paint is lime. And I can just see here, you've got surface mounted electrics that probably needs to be changed. And just there, you can see the red brick behind, but that is the original paintwork. <sighs> Phenomenal. Okay, I've just come down from the second floor and now we're going to go into the first floor level. I've already shown you some of it, which is basically the kitchen and also the music room. And as we come in here, you will immediately see, if I pull the camera up, that you have again a barrel vaulted ceiling. So it will be quite easy if you wanted to, to put that back to its original condition and by scraping off the plaster. And now, the gentleman has a wood burning stove. Um, and also at the same time, there is a fantastic terracotta original fireplace, which is below. They are very good. And as for heat, very economical. As we come down the hallway, you come into a dressing room and to the left of you, or left of me, I should say, there's a bathroom and that has been done at a later stage and you have 
a basin, somebody has complained that I called it a sink, I apologize, a bidet and toilet with the toilet seat down, and behind the door there is quite a substantial shower. Now if we come back and we come down into a, another bedroom, so what are we at now? One, two, three, four, five bedrooms. Yeah, I mean, you've got beautiful pictures of history of the family and uh, history. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful, isn't it? It's just, it's just lovely. I mean, this uh, this part. Um, has had new flooring put down at a later stage and if I come and show you that uh, you can see that they are modern tiles. Personally um, I would take them up but uh, and if you were very lucky the original terracotta might just be under a very thin screed and you'll be able to chip that away and get back to the terracotta. And if you weren't that lucky, then you would have to purchase new reclaimed, which is old, terracotta flooring, and I wouldn't be putting anything new into this. Now, I'm gonna go into this room because the owner showed me this room and I thought it was just fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. You know, I mean, if you live on your own in, at uh, uh, 10,000 square feet. I mean, you're not going to live in every room, are you? Just It's just an impossibility. Now this, which I saw, is another kitchen. And I know that because that, right in this corner, if I can push the camera in, I, I can't, I'm going to get around to the other side of it. I get over here, that would have been your cooker. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a steel back plate on it, I can see. But if I come up here, and again, you would have basically, you know, had things hanging, but if I show you this, if I can, if the gimbal can come up enough just to the edge on that corner, well, they won't look that big to you, but they are huge to me, and they are some beautiful handmade nails and these beams are just stunningly beautiful. I mean, where do you start? Where do you start, really? Oh, there's another room in there. No, oh, I'm not gonna go in there. Oh, it's huge. Oh, Mac's going in there. <laughs> Come on, Mackie. Right, I think I'm going to go outside and show you a bit more of the beautiful grounds. Okay, so what I've done is I've stepped over this small country road so you can get a perspective of the building itself. Um, and the trees have fallen, uh, the leaves, <laughs> the trees, the leaves have fallen off the trees. Um, and it really is just fantastic. Now, there are five annexes. All around and as I said to you at the beginning of the video there's 270 olive trees and on this side of the garden um, part of the two hectares and um, the fence goes up to where the olive trees are you can see in the distance and I can see some fruit trees another wonderful olive tree and I'm just going to pull in the sun and basically you can't see it because it's flary but you have QZ in the distance. Uh, beautiful fig and then I'm going to come across I'm going to walk through the other parts of the grounds And there's a house which is quite close but it doesn't impact on the property whatsoever and then you've got this really nice camp or hill you know flatland with its own gates that you can get into 
and a, another barn. This one's quite old actually, but you know, it can make a garage or, and again, it's got stuff in it. And I'm just gonna show you that because uh, it's, got, it's got some really beautiful old wood. And I know somebody, yes, Ben, I'm talking about you, who would want to buy all that wood. Let's see what we can do for you. Beautiful light on top of the hill. Oh, it couldn't be better, could it? Really, if you want a noble home in Italy, this could be it. Come on, Mac. Whoa. <sighs> Sit down, boy. Wasn't that incredible? Absolutely unbelievable. What a property, what furniture, what cars. What more can you say about it? Okay, here are the facts. Two hectares of land. There's an opportunity to purchase another 40 hectares if you would like to become a farmer or if you would like to do your own vineyard or there are lots of things that you can do with the land, but it's not in the price which I'm going to tell you today. The building itself is 900 square meters of utter original bliss, give or take a few bits and pieces which are being put in at a later stage. This land over here, which we had a quick look at, beautiful place for a swimming pool, tiny country road, QZ 15 minutes, Cortona 25 minutes, A1 motorway going to Rome 15 minutes away, Rome itself hour and three quarters, Florence hour and 15 minutes. I mean you're just surrounded, we're in Umbria, there's Umbria, there's Tuscany. It's absolutely stunning, everything can be purchased, all the furniture on the inside and also if you want one of the two or all the cars you can have those as well. But as my last week's video, you need to be a resident to enable you to put a car in your name in Italy. And the price, the price of this wonderful property is 990,000 euros. And personally, with over, including the annexes, a thousand square meters of space, I think that's good value for money. I expect you're going to tell me something else. I would like to give a huge thank you to Manini Real Estate. They are a Italian real estate company. Uh, they are absolutely wonderful people and they have given me the opportunity to shoot this house today. I will link them in the description below. If you are a real estate in agency, agency in Italy and you have one of these and your vendor would like me to film it, just send me an email. I dream for houses like this. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours for all of you who have subscribed to this channel. I cannot thank you enough and I mean it sincerely. If you had not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push those buttons? Yes, Mike, push the buttons. And that would help me so I can help you. Until the next tour, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Ciao.